Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome back to the channel. Today, as you can see from the thumbnail, it's a comparison of a Porsche 981 and a 718, the two newest uh, Porsches. I have the 987. If you follow me on the channel, you know that. And uh, the video I have today is actually a little bit different because I've rented both of those cars at two different times. Uh, so I don't actually have them side by side, but I wanted to show you guys the video footage I have of each one of the vehicles so you could do a, a bit of a side by side comparison. Uh, things like some cold starts, some revvings, and like the interior, a little bit of the exterior as well. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. going in here into the 981's interior all the same uh, placements of everything right like the the three gauges the vents are kind of like all in the same spot subtle differences now let's talk about the interior now this this is a beautiful interior not many changes if you if you think of the overall look of the car it's just the materials that they used are way more updated uh, the steering wheel looks a lot newer cleaner uh, the vents still sort of in the same placement the keyhole still in the same place and uh, where you would have your screen your radio all that center console things are pretty identical to the old look uh, but again all updated go to the steering wheel you have these little toggle wheels uh, they go up and down that change uh, item within the system uh, same with the left side I, I believe you also use these for the radio uh, you have your phone buttons uh, the jokers button which i think you could customize to have it whatever you want you got your paddle shifters which are i believe they're metal on the steering wheel now this one's very basic and i mean very basic there is nothing on here uh, to control anything at all no cruise control nothing like that now it doesn't mean that it doesn't have it it just means that it's somewhere else and the steering wheel the only thing that's really attached are your paddle shifters which I believe they might be metal but they feel nice and heavy and if you saw my first impressions you know I drove it and they work beautifully infamous cup holders uh, that pop right out I know Doug DeMuro is a huge fan of these uh, I owning the older version of these have had trouble with them and I think they're sensitive you got your cup holders that pop right out and if you have one or both out you could just have them out like this while this stays closed and these are adjustable as well to the cup size they work really well and just close that back up and it's good to go your shifter this is the pdk this is not the first time i've used pdk i've gotten to use this at the porsche experience in la great great transmission super smooth buttery smooth flawless you know i love driving manual transmissions uh, but if i'm gonna drive an automatic transmission this is a great great setup and you basically got your part to drive on the left and you can you can smash it to the left and then have your manual transmission and i believe you could go yeah uh up is down and down is up on this one and but i just like using the paddle shifters instead myself now you have your pdk right here uh, pdk is porsche's uh, transmission system which is one of the best if not the best automatic transmissions that you can get 
go watch my first impressions because you could hear this do work those downshifts are amazing this is just the best of the best when it comes to automatic transmissions for sure now this one sports a seven speed uh, so you can go seven gears with this one up and down and all around as far as the sound system goes i haven't really played with it too much but it is a touch screen um, which is pretty cool with a car like this you know i'm not really listening to the radio and this one does not come with the navigation package although you could get it uh, so i haven't got a chance to play with any of that so here you got your navigation system slash radio infotainment and a bunch of buttons here but they are very useful if you want to go straight to a map just press map if you want to go into your navigation just press navigation and so on and so forth you can do your phone bluetooth here your media player your tuner it does have a cd you can change your sources you got your uh, volume and you have also your tuner here i to talk about the specs of the engine the engine is a four cylinder boxer engine in the past they've all been six cylinders this one they've gone down to four but they've added turbos to the engines uh, to make up for the power to let more air in now what makes this special is that this is the last one that has the flat or boxer engine uh, the uh, flat six cylinder naturally aspirated engine uh, now they've switched to a four cylinder with turbo you could only get the six cylinder if you switch to a new 718 gt4 and which is that's a whole different story just wanted to give you all an overall comparison of the two portion boxers well i hope you guys enjoy the video again it was a little bit different because i don't actually have the vehicle side by side uh, but uh, if you haven't already done so subscribe to the channel because i do other videos with other cars uh, and also with my cars go ahead and hit that like button if you guys like the video uh, comment and share with anyone that might be into this type of content and i'll talk to y'all later